Hey, what's going on guys? So I'm going to show you today how to build a marketing strategy and how to easily present this type of abstract concept to clients. It's really hard to explain everything that goes on in a strategy and it's even harder to explain every part of something without explaining the entire global point, which is the market plan. So here you have, uh, by the way, I'm using a market plan, which is a tool that I use to organize my funnels and just to sh present and visualize everything like the pages and, and all that stuff. So let's go into here. We have the pages module and here you can add any type of page that you want. So as you can see, I've added the pages here already and these are ad sets. So basically this is an ad set with two ads in it, another ad set with two ads in it, and etc. all the same. Here, that's an ad set with uh, two with one ad actually there's only one ad in here i had already um, tested it out so i didn't need to test it out so this one is for the lead um the leads and basically we're offering an ebook and this ebook it's a lead magnet for the for the rest of the phone and as you can see here i've set up all the information for the ad set and like the campaign objective like if you created an ad before then you know all, what all that stuff is the things that people that you want to exclude just basically targeting and here you have the picture so i've set up the url for the image the actual ad url and you can even put the real ad in here like the actual ad url because you can you can grab the url of an ad this is the media that i'm using and you can also add a tracking link. So that way, when people go through your real ad in Facebook, it'll reflect here as well. You'll see it in the app. And here you set up your budget limit, now how much it's going to cost, your projected budget, a flat rate or on a cost per click. You determine this based on your on your ad that you're creating. And once you're done with that, you can move on. If you want to add a text post or video ad, you can just simply drag something here and add it, add the URL, all that stuff. You don't have to do all of that, but this was for the purpose of uh, showing to a client. And so that's why I did. But usually I won't even do all that i'll just do the necessary unless i want to get fancy or i'm like just into it or something so next what we have is the opt-in page so the opt-in page i didn't do this but as you can see uh, i just added it to to show you guys but you can add a, a url here that's not the real url where it's supposed to go but this is an old funnel it's not live anymore so i've added this url here just so that inside you can see the actual page and here you have the tasks that you need to do so you can actually add tasks and stuff for different people because you can also collaborate on this you can also add links but i won't go too much into that then if you want to if you want to understand more how the tool works it might be good to watch the other video where i explain uh, basically this tool so once they're done with that they've subscribed and they want the ebook then they're they go to a, lent, uh, a thank you page where there's the ebook. If they did not download it or if they did download it, no matter the, the case, they'll get an email from us right here. So they'll get an, a welcome email and then two days later, they'll get a ebook reminder. So in case they didn't download it, they can download it again. And then there's the micro series, uh, the number one, like an, it's an intro to the micro series and a coupon. Then that's where the start of the micro series begins. So one, two, three, four, five. And inside all of these, I'll show you uh, the welcome email, I guess. You can actually add the text for your email. So here, this one, I just copied the email and like the entire email and uh, and put it here. But you can also simply write, no, I X'd out. You can also simply write something like this one, for example. So I just wrote subject line, preview, uh, the email, the body, all that stuff. And you can also track links if you want to get detailed into that. Um, and that's where the funnel fin finishes for the top part anyways. Then if you're coming from this place, for, you're coming from the ad uh, of Facebook, but, which is not the ebook, it's simply an ad that's uh, promoting the, 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 the product that's uh, being sold. At this point, you're going to land on this landing page. In this landing page, if you decide to leave, then you'll be prompted with an exit pop-up. And this is going to send you to this funnel, so the, the top part of the funnel. And then you'll go here. So we're still trying to capture the email if the person wants to leave. But if they don't want to leave and they want to proceed to the purchase, then they can go to the, the checkout, the Shopify checkout. And then from there, they'll be directed to the thank you page, which then brings them to the email campaign. So at this point though, if they did purchase, they're tagged with a purchase tag, maybe engaged customer, but not purchased. Or so you can add in a lot of different tags. If you guys don't know much about email marketing or want to learn the, the ins and outs, I have a video introducing email marketing. It's really for beginners. So taking it from scratch, like you don't know anything and explaining the basics and how what it can do for you, how to use it, what tools I uh, recommend and stuff like that. So check it out. I'll put it somewhere in the link or somewhere in the top of the video. So uh, here I've added this, um, this is not part of the, of the funnel, but I've just added it here to show you that you can actually have these pages look like this. So they can be 
the actual thumbnail. You just have to like actually right click and then custom thumbnail, you add your thumbnail. I didn't do it for these ones, but you can do it if you want. If you want to see, it's, it's a lot better when you're showing a client and uh, you really want to impress them. You can show, you can show like the pages and when they see their website like that, it's really like, it's mind blowing when they see that. Like every time I've showed, I've shown something to a customer where they, they see like their own pages on a plan and like it really gets them excited. But yeah, I want to show you also the tracking module. So this is the plan, the planification mode. If you want to do the live mode, this shows you the details. So here there are no details because I didn't track it. But if you do add the tracking, then you just have to add the tracking in your CMS and then it'll show you how many visitors came and the visitors are going to be here. And uh, you're going to see like, for example, uh, when I click this, it's going to show me people that visited this here, people that visited this. And also you'll be able to see You'll be able to see the visitors in this little box and you can change it to leads for like if it's leads instead of sales or if it's leads and sales whatever you choose and it's going to show you also percentage of people that came from here to here so if only 10 percent of all these people captured here came to the checkout then you're going to see it here the percentage and then how many people made it to the thank you page that means they did complete checkout some people reach here but they don't actually purchase they just go to the checkout then they're like oh maybe later or seriously i'm not going to do this purchase not now anyways and that's that but um i want to show you also the task modules for example here if you add any tasks here to, to be done like you can add any task here like for example uh, get links fixed then you can assign these to people so you can assign it to someone so let's say I assign it to myself and then once you're done you can also move it to for example done or if you're if it's to do you put it up to do whatever it is you can also do uh, subtasks if you click inside but i won't go into details so that's it for here and one thing one last thing i wanted to show you is i don't think i have that anywhere here but basically here as i said you can add the url but you can also add the editor url and what that makes is that once you have the editor editor URL in here, you can actually customize your website from here. So let's say you're you're watching this with your client. You're like, okay, so this is for this and that. And you're looking at all these pages. And then he's like, mm, you know what? On this page, I don't like the little button. Uh, it's too round or it's too, uh, it's too bright. I want to make it something else. Okay, well, you just go in here and you can actually edit things within your editor, but you have to add your editor here. All right, so, so if you want to see, for example, people's tasks that you've assigned, you know, these tasks that we have inside the pages or in the email module or in any of the little widgets that you saw on the other page, the, the pages will be here. Well, the tasks will be here. You'll see the person that needs to do it. And then you have one day to do doing, you can drag it and put it wherever you want. So put this back here and you can also drag a new card from here and go back to the canvas from here. Now, if you want to chat with uh, your client or with anybody that you're working with, you can chat over here. So you chat with your team, find whoever you want to chat with. And then there's also a really cool feature, which is the white label settings. I'll show you right now. These settings are somewhere here. No, actually, they're not here. So if we go, for example, in the white label settings, you can see that I've added my logo. I've added some different uh, stylings and I've put my colors. So that way everything is, is branded to my color. So when people come in here, they see my colors and that makes it a lot more uh, professional. And also you can link your domain. So when people go to hub.digitalskillscafe.com, that's where they'll appear, but you have to have the login. So you have to be like client or a, a team member. I'll show you a last example. So this here is another funnel. Basically you have all the different types of modules that you can have. You have the email campaign, you have a Facebook campaign, some yes or no actions. And there's a lot of stuff going on here. And basically when people opt in, they go to the pop-up and then the upsell page. If they do purchase, they're led to this path. If they don't purchase, then they're led down this path where they get a downsell option. And then if they do purchase the upsell, upsell, they go here. If they don't, they go there. So this really helps you visualize and show your client that, look, this is what's going to be going on. This is what we're building. And like, you have to see to believe when you don't understand marketing, you can't just take someone's word and be like, yeah, okay, I understand. Like they won't understand. It takes a long time to, to explain all of this. But when you see it like that, it doesn't take time. It takes a few minutes, well, a few minutes, a good 10, 15 minutes to explain the gist of it. And then they can go into details if they want. If you guys like this type of video, let me know. I'll do some more. And if you guys haven't already, check out my other video on the market plan review where I'm showing how to use this tool. 
and um, check out the description for the link. There's a few plans for like a plan for $9, I think, and a plan for $29. There's also a free plan that lets you have one funnel. So you can go and test it out if you want. There's even a demo. And they do have also a lifetime deal. So if you purchase this one time, I think it's like 500 bucks. Maybe the price went down now or up, I don't know. But anyways, check out the link in the description. You'll see the, the tool for sale. And once you purchase this, then you have the white label settings, the, all the best options, you have them and you can create unlimited funnels. So you can really create, or maybe it's not unlimited, maybe it's like 20, but in any case, I've never run out. And if I really need to, I can always just drag down and create something here. You probably won't need more than 20 funnels live anyways. So, <laughs> all right. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you soon. Take care.